Sometimes beers are really, really colorful, and sometimes that's really a good time. And you know what? I don't know where I was going with this intro, because I don't really have a proper intro kind of joke kind of theme right now. Because it's a sour beer by Collective Arts. So let's just get into it. We know it's probably going to be damn, damn tasty. Beer, 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 beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Ruski Brewski Review. And today the beer I have for you is by none other but the Collective Arts out in Hamilton, Ontario. This is their collective project, a sour, dry hopped ale brewed with peach, passion fruit, and raspberry. Boom, in a very nice purpley pinky color. With a, um, a logo which is weird. It's uh, one of those where they get smaller and smaller, but it's the same thing and it all flows together. It's a weird man in... I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but it somehow it reminds me of like a bearded hot dog man, but even that doesn't make any sense to me or to my eyes or to my brain, but that's okay. This beer is coming in at 5.5% alcohol by volume and no listed IBUs on the can, but it's IBUs on the website. The peach, passion fruit, and raspberry sour is coming in at 35 IBUs. So, Right there, sort of on the lower end of the middle. But for sours, pretty strong. Let's crack it open, see what we got. This is a limited release. I don't know how much is actually left. By the time this video comes out, I'm pretty sure it's gone in the history books. So, sorry. We're gonna pour it into my Collective Arts IPA glass because, well, in the, even though it's not an IPA, it's still a Collective Arts beer. And look at that pretty color, holy hell. That is a great color. Boom, roasted. Look at that color. That's a beautiful, like ruby, like pinkish, reddish pink, red, nice, just lightly pink head on top. It's nice and hazy as well. You know, I love when beer has a nice, pretty color to it. Mmm, a lot of carbonation coming up. Very, very nice looking. Let's have a smell. You definitely get the sour note. But you get like very tart raspberries, passion fruit and peach, sort of not super in your face. There seem at least so far to be more in the background. And we get some hints of peach, maybe touch of passion fruit. But the raspberries, tart raspberries are really the star of the show on the nose portion of the beer. And then that nice sour note as well. Very, very easy to detect. You know it's a sour just by the smell. Let's have a sip. Mm. Big sour in your face. Raspberries, tart raspberries. Then right there, right after that big sour note, here come the raspberries. Peach and passion fruit. Peach is sort of in the middle uh, for at least me. Definitely a lower flavor, a lower contender. And then a very nice passion fruity finish. Uh, again, a little bit more citrusy almost. Slightly uh, slightly bitter as well. But yeah, raspberry is definitely the star of the show in this beer. But damn. Damn, that's good. And it's creamy. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Let's find out some more. Definitely creamier of a mouthfeel. More of a... Medium bodied mouthfeel just because of that creaminess. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit of lactose in here or maybe a touch of vanilla. I'm not too sure if it actually is, if there is or not. Uh, on the ingredients, no. No, there isn't. No, don't see it. But I guess the puree that they used or, or, or whatnot. But damn, definitely a bit creamier as far as sours go. Mm hmm. Great flavor. Like I said, though, the raspberries, and you get a bit of peach and a nice passion fruit finish. Overall, pretty good time. Overall, a damn, damn delicious beer. Nice. It would be great in the summer, that's for damn sure. Mm -hmm. Moving over to the crazy um, logoed can. Sour, dry hopped ale brewed with peach, passion fruit, and raspberry. 5.5% ABV, 35 IBUs. 
On the side here, there is no description. But we do have an ingredients list, which is water, barley malt, wheat malt, peach, raspberry, and passion fruit, fruit puree, hops, and yeast. Contains wheat and barley. Brewed by Collective Arts, blah, 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 blah. limited release, unfiltered, keep cold, roll the can before opening. Sorry guys, I didn't roll the can, my apologies. I should probably read before I pour. On the bottom, there is a nice, clearly labeled, brewed on date, which is February 25th, 2019. So it's just under a uh, month old. I was going to say under a year old. It's very under a year old, under a month old, as of recording. Um, looking for who the artist is. Uh, artist by Matthew Den Bau uh, Boer, Bauer, B-O-E-R. Sorry if I mispronounced that. My apologies. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Very, very nice. Just a crazy looking logo. Overall, great logo, great beer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I don't get the 35 IBUs though. I don't think, I, I wouldn't put them that high, but maybe I'm just, I'm just used to it. But damn, super, super delicious. Moving over to the website now, collectiveartsbrewing.com. You go over to the beer section, you go over to the all section, and you find peach, passion fruit, and raspberries. Now, there is a description as well, and it reads, The flavor and aroma of juicy peach, tropical passion fruit, and tart raspberries dominate, which is then backed up by a generous amount of bright, fruity hops. This beer is finished with a refreshing sourness to give an overall brilliant, brilliant, flavorful, and drinking experience. That it does. Fruit, peach, passion fruit, and raspberry. No other information here. No uh, food pairings, list of malts, hops, and yeast. Bit of a bummer, but, you know, not the end of the world. Also, you can pick this beer up, I, I would still hope so, at the store as a recording on March 18th. Um, it is available on the website, I think. Yeah, it is. That yep, that it is for four twenty-five, four dollars and twenty-five cents for this uh, for this beer for a can of it. Very very nice. Finally, moving over to Untapped. Mm. Holy hell! Amazing. Sorry, just wow. Fruity, nicely. Like it's not super sour. Just, it's just a nice touch of sour. Beautiful stuff. Untapped, you get the fruited dry hop sour to this version of it. The uh, peach, passion fruit, and raspberries coming in at a 3.92 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of 83 ratings. Cheers on the final sip, guys. Let's get right to my ratings. Overall, a magnificent beer. Goes down super, super smooth. Big, big flavor. Uh, the raspberries are definitely the star of the show. Moving into that nice peach. And then the passion fruit right on the finish for me. Great stuff. Sour level, not super, super sour. Just the right amount to not overbear on any of the other amazing flavors in this beer. Raspberry, peach, passion fruit, sour by Collective Arts. Gets a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. Great, great stuff. Ash presentation. I love the artwork on the can. I think it's absolutely crazy. Again, not as much information as I'd like to see, but at least we get ingredients and a best before, sorry, a brewed on date on the bottom and the ABV. Thankfully, website throws on the IBUs and a nice little bit of a description. Still, I'd like to see malts, hops, and yeast, maybe food pairings, but it's not the end of the world. Overall, presentation gives a solid 8 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to me, Maple Bruce, it'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Bruce, and like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Pouring the sour beer into a soury glass. Kidding, it's not a sour glass. I don't know what glass tastes like, so we're just gonna pour. Cheers.